Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture we have to discuss about lighting designing or lighting selection. So after the end of this lecture you would be able to understand how to calculate the number of lighting fixtures in electrical. So let's start. So now here before going through calculation of lighting fixture first of all here some important terms is there so first we discuss that term so in that first is lumens and it is represented by lm what is luminancy it is written it is an unit of measurement for brightness of lamp okay and it is denoted by lm the value this value lumens value will be provided by manufacturer of lamp okay so simple you can say it is an unit of measurement for the brightness of lamp okay and this value you will get from manufacturer of lamp now the next term which we have to discuss here is lux okay so what is lux see it is an unit of measurement for the amount of brightness falling on the work plane or reference plane per meter square area so simply it is also a unit of measurement that you can see in this figure the amount of brightness falling on work plane or reference plane per mun per meter square area it will give you the value and it is denoted by lx its value can be taken from is 3646 and ies lux level table okay so how much lux we have to maintain as per your location suppose if you are designing for office space if you are designing for bedroom if you are installing lighting fixture in bedroom in corridor or in dining hall or anywhere so based on your location you will get the lux value from is 3646 table okay we have a table i will show you how to find out the lux level okay that how much lux we have to maintain in that room okay so this is all about lux after that next is efficacy what is efficacy see it is an efficiency of lamp measured in lumens per watt as i told you that lumens value you will get from manufacturer of lamp okay so for example if you want to calculate the efficiency of lamp so how you can calculate suppose here the power value is Uh, of that uh, lighting fixture is given 100 watt okay and lumens level uh, lumens of lamp also you will get from manufacturer only suppose it is a 5000 lumens lumens of lamp is 5000 lumens okay now you want to calculate the efficiency so we know that efficacy or efficiency is equal to lumens per watt so how much we have got 50 lumens per watt it is our efficacy value okay so in this way we have to calculate the efficacy now come here our main topic lighting calculation how you can calculate that how much number of light we need to place suppose if you have one bedroom and in that bedroom you want to place the lighting fixtures okay so how you can identify that how many number of lighting fixture we need to place in that bedroom so as i told you uh, for that if you want if you go manually so we have a formula number of lights is equal to i will show you that formula after that we have a different soft, software also for lighting selection like dialux software cg lux software okay relux so different types of software is also available based on your lux value they will give you the number of lighting fixtures here also see to find out the number of light here we have a formula area in meter square area of that space in meter square into lux value here we need to place the lux value okay and this lux value you will get from the is 3646 table i will show you how to find out that divide by lol lumens of lamp mf is maintenance factor cou coefficient of utilization okay so this thing we need to find out too then only you will get the number of light so here area is what this area value you will get from the layout in meter square okay remember in architecture plan you will get the area of each and every space in which space you want to place the lighting fixtures getting 
so this area value you you will get from layout uh, now the lux value as i told you from from is 3646 table you will get the lux value also based on your location next is lol lol is lumens of lamp and this value is given by manufacturer of lamp okay then mf maintenance factor this value also you will get from the table i will show you the table maintenance factor value how you can find out that then cou is coefficient of utilization for that also we have a call calculation okay so let's come first i will show you how to calculate each and everything okay uh, like uh, lol value uh, already you will get from any manufacturer suppose maintenance factor i have told you na this value you will get from table then coefficient of utilization how you can calculate that value so here i will show you that then we take one question so it is easy okay so now see here to find out the maintenance factor or in second language you can say light loss factor here see we have a table first how you can find out the maintenance factor so for very clean room how much we have to take 0.8 efficiency for very clean room we have to take 0.8 efficiency maintenance factor value uh, here they are talking about air conditioned room okay generally in if any space you want to give the air condition it is a clean space only so here for that we have to take 0.8 maintenance factor and for clean room 0.7 efficiency means they are talking about non ac room but clean so for non ac room we have to take 0.7 maintenance factor value and for roadside areas uh, means for dirty room we have to take 0.6 efficiency or uh, maintenance factor value and for very dirty room like if you are designing for industrial if you are calculating the lighting fixture for industrial area so generally it is a very dirty room so for that we have to take maintenance factor 0.5 getting it is called as a light law light loss factor so based on which type of room you have ac room 0.8 for non ac room 0.7 for dirty room 0.6 or for very dirty room like industrial area for that we have to take 0.5 maintenance factor okay so maintenance factor value you will get from this table getting now come to next one coefficient of utilization cou value how we can find out this value so remember coefficient of utilization value you will get uh, first of all you need to find out the room index value and reflection factor value based on room index and reflection factor you will get the coefficient of utilization value from where see it is written in note based on ri means room index and reflection factor value from table mmn 23601 we get coefficient of utilization value i will show you the table also okay so don't worry for that so in this way to find out the cou first we need to calculate the room index value then reflection factor so how to calculate the room index value for that we have a formula i will show you see to find out the room index here you have to follow this formula room index is equal to area of that space divided by p upon 2 into hm what is this c p is perimeter okay we need to calculate the perimeter then hm mounting height of lamp we need that detail also here and then area finally in meter square okay area we have to calculate the meter square so this thing we need to calculate so you will get the room index value getting same way the question is now how we can find out the mounting height of lime so for that we have a different case different scenario we have to discuss that so in case one what happened suppose if you have a room like this uh, here i have shown you the section drawing of room okay so there is no false ceiling in the room directly you want to place the light uh into this uh, like slab slab only you have to place the light in this way it which is shown in figure so from ffl to up to top of slab this is your full room height rh 
and if you have any work plane so that work plane height what so it is represented by w we need that also okay work plane height also so this is our case first in case first suppose if you have uh, if you do not have any false ceiling directly you are you want to place that lighting fixture on this slab so for that how much height we have to take so remember mounting height always we have to take as a room height whatever your room height is there na? so same mounting height we have to take so this is our case first now the case second suppose if you have false ceiling inside the room and you want to place the lighting fixture on that false ceiling level only like this see here we have a false ceiling so in this false ceiling only we have to place the lighting fixture like this okay so and here work plane and their height total room height false ceiling height everything is given now the question is how you can find out the room uh, mounting height of lighting fixture for this case simple for this case you have to take mounting height is equal to false ceiling height whatever your false ceiling height is there that height you have to take as a mounting height light mounting height. okay so this is our second case now the next case is what case third so in that case suppose if you have free hanging type of lighting fixture like this so for that how much you have to take the mounting height so suppose uh, your total it is your room height then work plane height to find out the mounting height you have to use this formula first of all room height you need to calculate the room height minus work plane height whatever so you will get the mounting height of free hang type of light okay so in this way you need to calculate the mounting height once you will get the mounting height of lighting fixture so that value you have to put in your formula okay which already i have shown you for room index formula because in that formula we need a mounting height of light na? okay so this is all about how to find out the mounting height and now here you have to remember some point if suppose work plane height is not given then what we have to do then we have to consider work plane height as below i will show you sometime what happened work plane height as i told you to find out the mounting height in case third we need we have a formula na? room height minus work plane height suppose if you don't get the value of that work plane height is not given so so you have to follow this thing work plane height can be selected based on following what are they see based on furniture layout first of all we have to find out the work plane height first condition second you have to ask with architecture or interior decorator they will give you the value of that work plane third condition uh, i triple e it is what i triple e is what so based on this standard you will get the work plane height okay so here as per i triple e international electrical or you can say international engineer of electrical and electronics as per this standard here two case is given two condition suppose as per i triple e if you are placing the light indoor for indoor work plane height you have to consider 0.6 to 0.9 meter from finished floor level okay for indoor remember or for outdoor work plane height you have to consider 0.8 to 1.2 from ffl okay indoor or outdoor means what suppose if you have a bedroom so it is a indoor space so for that you have to maintain that much of height for work plane just take average one 0.8 okay so 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 meter work plane height you have to consider for indoor for bedroom for office space and suppose if you have a corridor lobby area okay dining hall so it is a outdoor so for outdoor work plane height you have to consider 0 0.8 to 1.2 meter from finished floor level getting so in this way you need to find out the mounting height of light i hope now all of you clear this concept now we have calculated room index value okay uh, this procedure you have to follow 
now the next one is to find out the coefficient of utilization value i have told you we need two things what room index value and reflection factor value so for reflection factor value you have to follow this table based on type of color you will get the reflection level in percentage here so see uh, here in first row you can see very light color if you uh, inside the room so okay if very light color is there like white color so for that ceiling 70 wall 50 floor 30 it means what this 70 percent will reflect from the ceiling only 30 percent will absorb by the ceiling if it it, it is a light color 50 percent for wall uh, inside the room we have a wall also so 50 percent light will reflect from the wall or 50 percent absorb then same thing from floor for floor 30 percent light will reflect okay and the remaining 70 percent will absorb by the floor if it is a light color suppose any light color pink or uh, any cream color you are using for a room so for that ceiling 50 percent reflection level value and floor also 30 percent medium shade for that this detail is written here once you will get so as per ecbc energy conservation of building code better is to take this value okay always we have to consider this value for ceiling 70 percent reflection level for wall 50 percent and for, for floor 30 percent based on this reflection level only we have to find out the coefficient of utilization value okay once you will get this both value room index reflection factor value so by using the that table mmn 23601 you will get the value okay so i will show you that also so here you can see uh, one question is written so you can easily understand here i am taking one question in that question i will show you that how we can find out the lighting fixtures okay so see what they are telling calculate the number of lighting fixture of air conditioning dining hall okay location is also given space uh, in which space you want to place the light dining hall and room which type of dining hall you have air conditioning dining hall okay whose lumens of lamp value is given here 3000 lumens because i have told you lumens of lamp value you will get from the manufacture of lamp so that value is given in question okay length of your dining hall is 7 meter width 6 meter and height is 3.5 meter fall ceiling height is also given 2.6 meter and work plane height is also given 0 0.7 suppose if it is not given so you have to follow that procedure which i have told you as per i you have to first of all you have to ask with uh, based on furniture layout you have to decide the work plane height or otherwise you have to ask with architecture or interior decorator or otherwise as per i triple e you have to follow the you will get the work plane height okay for indoor you have to consider 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 meter from ffl and for outdoor 0 0.8 to 1.2 meter from ffl okay so you get the work plane height from there so see now here just i am drawing the top view of my plan <coughs> so we have a dining hall so from top view you can see the length of room is visible and width also six meter and i have written here dining hall ac room lol lumens of lamp value is 3000 lumens okay same way you can see the section view or side view of that room dining hall because here we have a fall ceiling also na? so total room height is 3.5 meter fall ceiling height is given 2.6 meter you can see in this question also they have given and work plane height is also given 0 0.7 okay now come here how to calculate the number of lighting fixture so to find out the number of lights here you have to follow this formula number of light is equal to area of that space in meter square into lux level value divide by lumens of lamp into maintenance factor then cou coefficient of utilization so here uh, all of you know where 
area you will get from the layout in meter square lux level value you will get from is3646 table okay lol lumens of lamp value is given by manufacturer of lamp then mf is maintenance factor this value you will get from that table as which type of room you have air conditioning non air conditioning dirty room or very dirty room based on that you will get the maintenance factor value then cou coefficient of utilization value also you will get from that table first of all we have to calculate the room index and reflection factor value once you will get that value so based on room index and reflection factor value by using table mmn 36 or uh, 263 uh, from that table you will get that value i will show you that table also okay so here area of that uh, which is given is 42 meter square okay because you know that length of that room is given 7 meter and width 6 meter so 7 into 6 42 meter square area of a space dining hall is 42 meter square next thing we have to calculate the lux value that in dining hall how much lux we have to maintain so you can see here i have taken 250 lux from where from is 3646 table you can see i will show you that table see this is our is 3646 table when you just uh, we have a pdf for i will share you that pdf so here i have taken the screenshot of that page which i need here so see in first type type of interior or activity is given then in second column you can see range of service illuminance value in lux okay then quality class of directs glare limitation remarks everything is given so first of all we need to find out the dining hall in dining hall how much lux we have to maintain so see here they have given minimum medium or maximum so for entrance i have opened this, this general building area you can see so first they have written entrance so if you are placing or if you are installing lighting in entrance hall lobbies waiting room so for that minimum lux level you have to maintain 150 medium 200 maximum 300 lux don't go beyond that okay based on that average value we have to take so here in our case we are designing for dining hall so you can see here canteen cafeteria or dining room is given so for dining room minimum lux level we have to maintain 150 maximum 300 so i have taken uh, 250 average bit between 150 to 300 so i have taken 250 suppose i want to maintain that much of lux okay so that is why here i have taken lux level 250 from that table getting after that next value we need, in formula next is maintenance factor value na? so main, maintenance factor value i have taken 0.8 because we are we are designing for dining hall and it is the ac room so for ac room already i have shown you the maintenance factor value for very clean room we have to take 0 0.8 means for air conditioned room maintenance factor value 0 0.8 so that value i have taken getting now lumens of lamp value is already given in question 3000 because this value you will get from the manufacturer of lamp okay now we need to calculate the coefficient of utilization value so for that uh, first you have to calculate the room index value then reflection factor value based on this two value from table mmn 23601 uh, we get coefficient of utilization value okay so see here to find out the room index value we have a formula area divided by perimeter by 2 into mounting height okay so all of you know p is what here perimeter meter hm mounting height of lamp area in meter square so here i have taken the value here area of space already dining area we have calculated 42 meter square okay then perimeter of that room how to calculate the perimeter of rectangle 2 into 2 in bracket length plus width so i have written 2 in bracket length of that room is 7 meter plus width 6 meter divided by 2 into mounting height of light uh, here i have taken 2.6 why because false ceiling height is given 2.6 and i have shown you the three scenario for the placement of light amount to find out the mounting height of lamp if false ceiling is given so you know that for false ceiling mounting height we have to take false ceiling height whatever 
So false ceiling height is 2.6. That is why I have taken here 2.6. So here we get the room index value 1.242. Getting now reflection factor value. See for ceiling, I have just as per ECBC, we have to take 70% reflection level for wall 50% and for floor 30%. Based on this. You will get the room index value. Okay, so remember the value this one room index 1.242 and reflection factor for ceiling 70% Le reflection level I have taken for wall 50% and flow for floor 30%. Okay, suppose if if it is a white color, very light color, so for that we have to consider this one na? now. Remember, based on this two value, you will get coefficient of utilization value from table MMN 23601. So here you can see the table certified test report number MMN 23601. From this table you will get the coefficient of utilization value. So see here room re reflectance value is given. So we have considered for ceiling 70% for wall 50% and for floor 30% reflection level we have taken. Na? Here you can see in first row they have given for ceiling 70% for wall 50% but for floor 10% our condition is 30%. So in this table uh, you will not get that 30% for floor. So just open your next table. Now when you see in this table now here room reflectance for ceiling we have considered 70% reflectance level for wall 50% and for floor 30%. Okay, so this you have to follow. Now room index value is given here 0 0.751, 1.25, 1.52. So already in our question we have calculated a reflection a room index value 1.242 something. So here means 1.25 near about whatever value is coming you have to take. Just draw one vertical line one horizontal. See both are intersecting in this point. So here 0 0.54 is your coefficient of utilization value. Okay. In this way, you will get the coefficient of utilization value. Now, same here I am writing coefficient of utilization value 0 0.54. Now we have calculated each and everything. Now use this formula number of light and place each and everything area 42 square meter lux level 250 then lumens of level 3000 lumens of lamp then maintenance factor I have taken 0 0.8 and coefficient of utilization value we have calculated 0 0.54 so finally here we have got eight number of light it means for dining hall in dining hall we need to place eight number of lights okay now how to place how to place the light placement of light so for that also see here I have shown you the plan view top view Okay, placement of light 7 meter. We have a dining hall 7 meter length and 6 meter width. So here we have to place the 8 number of light like this. Now the question is from wall to first light how much distance we have to maintain from light to light center of light to light. So for that see here you have to assume from wall to center of first light we have to maintain x distance and from light to light to x. Okay whatever distance you are maintaining from wall double of that you have to maintain from light to light distance okay same way now vertically same from wall to light y 2y y so now calculate the x and 2x value so x plus 2x plus 2x 2x plus x 8x is equal to 7 meter so it is written now x value you will get from here 0 0.875 meter and 2x value 1.75 meter. It means from first uh, from wall to first center of light distance we have to maintain 0 0.875 meter. Getting and from lighting to lighting fixture center to center we have to maintain 1.75 meter. Okay remember this thing. Same way you have to calculate the y value or 2y value. So y plus 2y plus y 4y is equal to 6. It is given here. So y value you will get 1.5 and 2y 3 meter. Okay. So from vertically from this wall to center of light you have to maintain 1.5 meter. Then from center to center distance or from light 
you have to maintain 3 meter okay so in this way we have to do the placement of lighting fixtures i hope all of you getting about this okay so this is all about lighting designing in electrical services so if this video is important for you so please do not forget to like subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest video related to MEP designing and modeling. I hope all of you enjoy the session. See you in next one.